Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So your Comet K 2024 admit card has been released. So if you haven't downloaded the uh, admit card yet, so we have a video where we have de uh, discussed the detailed procedure to download the admit card. The link of that video will be there in the description section. So please watch it and then first download your admit card. And in this video, we'll be discussing the important uh, exam day guidelines for your uh, Comet K 2024 examination. So here we'll be discussing the important things that you must follow, the things that you can carry, which you cannot carry and other important instructions for this exam day. Okay, So this is very important. Please watch the video completely because if you do not follow, follow any of these instructions, you may not be allowed to sit in the exam center and your all hard work will go in vain. Right. So that is very, very important. So please watch the complete video and follow the instructions. So let us see here first. Okay. So now let us see this is the admit card. It will be looking like this. And here if you see first is your uh, examination name, then you have date and time of examination, right? So the date of examination is 12th May 2024 and the timing will be depending on which shift you have been given. So there are morning, afternoon and evening shift. So here the time of the exam is written. Next you have reporting time. So this is the time from where you have to start. You can uh, reach the exam center and then the session whether it is morning, evening or afternoon will be mentioned. The next is very important that is the venue of the examination that is your exam center is given. So you have to check the uh, like check the center properly and make uh, all the required arrangements to reach the center in time. Now after this you have here you have to paste your photograph okay colored photograph you have to paste and you have to sign it. Now another important here is you have to sign a uh, candidate signature is required but this signature you do not have to do from the home you have to do it in the exam center in front of the invigilator okay it is very important so do not sign it now from like in from the home you have to sign it in the exam center remember this one okay now what is there the there is one uh, section where the invigilator has to sign and the invigilator name will be written so they have to fill this one by the invigilator this one, this uh, admit card, which is signed by the invigilator, you have to reserve it till the admission process is over. Okay, you can see here, candidates has to retain this test admission ticket with the signature of the invigilator till the admission process is completed. Okay, so it will be one of the important documents during your admission. So just the after it is signed, you have to preserve it. Okay, don't throw it after the exam. Now coming to this, so this is the instruction for the candidates. Here you can see the exam day is given. And exam duration is from which time to there will be three hours of exam. So based on your session, your time is will be given. Next reporting time is 7 a.m. for the morning section. The reporting time is 7 a.m. And the candidate is not allowed to enter the exam uh, send all after 8.15 a.m. Right. So there is the gate closing time. So you must reach the exam center before the uh, before this time. Okay. That is your uh, not allowed the exam after this time. Now candidate is not allowed to leave before 11.30 a.m. So you cannot leave in between the exam hall, uh, in between the exam. You have to sit till the exam is completed. Now coming to the, this is very important, the, the things that you have to carry compulsorily to the exam center. Apart from this, you are not allowed to carry any other thing. So first is your, uh, that is your test admission ticket, this admit card, download it from the uh, Comet K website and then take a printout and then carry it to the exam center. Next, you have to take two recent passport size color graph photographs. Okay. Next, you have to take original ID proof as mentioned in the application form. Okay. So, whichever uh, ID proof you have mentioned in the application form, the same one you have to take, the original one you have to carry. And then you have to carry the pencil for rough work. So, no other stationary items, only pencil for rough work and a transparent uh, water bottle for this exam center. Okay. So, you can see the five important things. First is your this admit card. Second is two recent passport size photographs that should be also color photograph. Then you have original ID proof. Then you have pencil for rough work and then transparent water bottle. Okay. Okay. So now we'll see some very important instructions that you must follow. So first is reach the exam center before the prescribed time. So if you reach the exam center late, you will not be allowed. So please reach on time. So make like make all the possible arrangements and reach well in advance so that there is no uh, hustle or no trouble at the end point. Okay. Now next the candidates must sign in their test admission ticket in the presence of the invigilator after the invigilator has verified their TAT. So after your hall ticket is, uh, is completely verified by the invigilator, you have to sign there in presence of the invigilator. So again, I told you at that time also. So don't repeat. Uh, you do not like you should not sign it from before and go to the exam hall. Okay, you have to sign it in the presence of the uh, invigilator. 
Next, the candidates are advised not to carry any personal computational devices, Bluetooth devices, cell phones and electronic gadgets. So, you, you are not allowed to carry any of these to the exam center. Next one is you are not carry, uh, allowed to carry any textual matter, printed or written bits of papers, any electronic gadgets except the allowed items mentioned above. Okay. So, do not carry any paper, rough work or anything, everything will be provided. You need to carry only the, the list of items that are given. So, no other things apart from the listed above items. Next is uh, for you uh, in the mock test also we have seen that a calculator was there. So, calculator is provided in the exam for so your calculations. So, you can use the calculator for the calculations in the exam hall. Next, there is some acceptable original proof ID like original photo ID proofs which all are acceptable in the exam center is your voter ID, passport, driving license, Aadhaar card and PAN card. Okay. So, whatever you have mentioned, whichever uh, identity proof you have mentioned in the application form that only you should carry and go the original one you have to carry. And the next is um, in case there is some problem, okay, your system gets shut down or something problem in the system. So, please inform the invigilator at once. So, do not get panic or uh, do not uh, like do not hide it. So, inform the invigilator there will be so many buffer systems available. So, they will make you some arrangements. So, no need to worry at all. Do not uh, get panic or tensed. Just inform the invigilator they will make the necessary arrangements. And next this is very important the your admit card the will be dissolved will be disabled on 12th May right after that it will not be available in the website. So, the candidates must preserve the printed TAT signed by the invigilator for the counselling and admission process. So, till your exam uh, is over and then admission process everything till your uh, counselling process is going on everywhere you will require the signed TAT. So, keep it properly after the exam also uh, just do not throw it keep it properly and safely it is very very important for your admission. Okay. Yeah, so these were the important instructions that you must follow for your Comet K 2024 examination before going to the center. So that's all. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.